What's up guys, Ms. Delitto again. Let's take a look at some rotations. So a circular turn towards the right is going to be considered a clockwise rotation and a circular turn towards the left is considered a counterclockwise rotation, much like time would work on a clock. So a rotation is a rigid transformation in which a figure is transformed by a circular movement around a center point. For our purposes in this class, we're gonna use the origin or zero, zero on a grid as our center point, but you should know that you can rotate around any center point. So when we think about our degrees of rotation, we're gonna stick with some basic ones in this course, but you can rotate any number of degrees. So we can take a look at clockwise and counterclockwise rotations and ones that are the same. So I've given you guys this little compass and it's based on the circle. So if we move 90 degrees to the right, so we see that 90 degree angle here. So we move 90 degrees to the right or 90 degrees clockwise. That's gonna be the same thing as if we moved 270 degrees, 90, 180, 270 degrees counterclockwise. So those two rotations are actually going to be the same thing. If we do a 180 degree counterclockwise rotation, that's, or sorry, clockwise rotation, that's the same as a 180 degree counterclockwise rotation. A 270 degree clockwise rotation is really the same as a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. So really you can name some rotations in two different ways and we're gonna talk about those rotations here in just a second. So we're gonna describe these three different examples of rotations and we can use two different ways of explaining them as we go through. I'm also gonna show you um, using some patty paper what those rotations actually look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you, this is our image here, so that's after we've rotated our figure. So we wanna think about using that circle. Was this a clockwise, counterclockwise, and how many degree rotation? So I am going to start by showing you that I've got my pre-image or the original figure traced here. So we can either turn this counterclockwise and we've done one turn, so we're 90 degrees counterclockwise, and we are now at our new image. So this could be a 90 degrees counterclockwise. But we can also see if we took that original figure and rotated it 90 degrees clockwise, 180 degrees clockwise, and then 270 degrees clockwise, we would still end up in the same place. So we can say that this is a 90 degree clockwise rotation or 270 degrees counterclockwise or clockwise. And either of those would be acceptable. Let's take a look at example number two. So this one is my image here. And on my patty paper, you'll see that I have traced the original figure or the pre-image. And so now we're going to rotate that pre-image. So if we go 90 degrees clockwise, we end up at our image. So this would be a 90 degree clockwise rotation. And we know a 90 degree clockwise rotation is the same as 270 degrees counterclockwise. And I'll prove that to you here in just a second. So again, we know that this is a 90 degree clockwise rotation, but I also could go 90 degrees counterclockwise, 207 or 180 degrees counterclockwise and then to 270 degrees counterclockwise. And again, if we did that whole 360, that whole way around, we'd end up back at our original figure. What are you guys thinking this last one might be? All right, let's check it out. So this up here is my image. 
because that's our figure after the rotation. And I've traced my pre-image or the original figure on my patty paper. And now we'll go ahead and we'll actually try those rotations. So if we go 90 degrees clockwise, not quite there, 180 degrees clockwise, and we are there. So this is a 180 degree clockwise rotation. But we know that also we could rotate the opposite direction. So if we go counterclockwise, 90 degrees, and then counterclockwise, 180 degrees, we also end up up in the same place. So we can say it's 180 degrees clockwise or it's 180 degrees counterclockwise. So hopefully this helps clear up some of the confusion that we have with rotations and helps some of you guys that are visual learners. Good luck.